So we'll look at an equation today for uniform acceleration. Uh, this equation here, it looks quite, uh, it looks quite scary, I think, but um, it's not too bad. I'll show you why. Uh, so firstly, remind us what acceleration is. So acceleration is when something gets faster, um, or if it's negative acceleration, deceleration, it might it means it's getting slower. So it starts at some velocity and then it goes up to another velocity by accelerating to it. Okay. So let's have a look at the terms in this equation. We've got v. Uh, so v v squared minus u squared is 2as. So v in this equation is our final velocity. Okay, so if something starts at a certain velocity, then that's its initial velocity, and that's what we represent with u. Uh, u is far, uh, initial velocity. So initial velocity, the starting velocity, and then v is the final velocity, so the velocity after it's accelerated. Um, 2 is just the, the number 2. Uh, a is the acceleration. Remember, if it's if your if your question involves deceleration, acceleration has to have an, it has to have a negative value, okay? Okay, so it's negative for deceleration, and then s is our distance. Okay, so remember, final velocity and initial velocity are both in meters per second. Uh, acceleration is in meters per second squared, and distance is in meters. Okay, so there's our equation. Now, this thankfully uh, you will be given this equation if you need to, if you need it. Uh, however, you do need to learn how to apply it, and you need to know when to apply it as well. So, use it's usually quite good. If I if, if I show you an, if I show you a question, it's usually quite good to underline the 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 numbers. Okay, to start with. So, if you drop a bowling ball from a height of five meters, so that's our distance, um, ignoring air resistance, calculate the velocity it will strike the ground. Uh, if acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second. So it's quite a good thing to list the things that we know. So if we're dropping it from a height of 5 meters, we know that the S uh, is equal to 5 meters. Yeah. We also know that acceleration A is equal to 10 meters per second squared. Uh, and we also know that because it's been dropped from a certain height, it's been dropped and its initial velocity is 0 meters per second. So u is equal to 0 meters per second. So let's write the equation out. v squared minus u squared equals 2as. Well, if u is 0, then this term is just going to vanish completely. So we're just going to end up with v squared equals 2as. Right. So if we're calculating the final velocity, so what's, what is a? Well, a is 10, so it's 2 times by 10, and then it's going to be times by um, times by height, which is s as well. So we get 2 times 10, which is 20. Uh, 20 times by 5 is 100. Okay, so we get v squared equals 100. Right. Now we need to get rid of that squared, so that means v has to equal square root of 100. So our final answer, v, is equal to 10, yeah, because 10 is the square root of 100. There's your answer, yeah? So it's always quite good to write out all the things you know, um, and then you can see what equation involves all these things here. Uh, and then that's, well, that's this equation. So we can plug that into the, plug all the numbers into the equation, and you get, eventually, you'll get v equals 10. So looking at a slightly different calculation here, cyclist accelerates uniformly from at 2 meters per second, so our acceleration is 2 meters per second squared. Um, and does it for 20 meters, so s, our distance, is 20 meters. She was moving at 5 meters per second before accelerating, so our initial velocity is 5 meters per second. Calculate her final velocity. Okay, let's have a look. So v squared minus u squared equals 2a s. Okay, so we're trying to find this final velocity. Now, what do we know in this equation? So we know that v squared minus u squared is equal to 2as. So it's 2 times by a, which is 2. Um, and we're going to times that by um, s, which is 20. Okay, so that's that side. Now, 
What about u squared? So we know that u squared, or u, is 5. So 5 squared is going to be 25, right? So let's, let's replace u squared with 25. Right. Now we need to get v squared on its own. So if we subtract, if we, if we add 25 to both sides, we end up with v squared equals 25 plus 2 times 2 times 20. But you've got to do this bit first. Okay, right, so 2 times 2 times 20, that's 4 times 20, um, that's going to be f uh, 80, okay. Um, 25 plus 80, so 25 plus 80 um, is going to give you v squared, which is, what's that going to equal? Uh, oh, 105, 105, okay, so v squared is 105, so that means v then, is going to just be square root of 105, yeah? Um, which on a calculator is, bear with me here, 10.2. Uh, so V is equal to 10.2 meters per second. Okay, right, um, that's our answer. Right then, have a look then. At this question here, this is your, this is one for you to do. Okay, so car traveling at 23 meters per second starts decelerating uniformly, decelerating. Um, at four meters per second squared, calculate the velocity after it travels 56 meters. Um, I will put an answer in the description. Okay, make a start. Uh, if you, I would advise that you make a list of all of the things that you know already, uh, and then you can plug those into the equation. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.